it's time for Airbus to make the next generation cargo aircraft. There are many different airlines that have been looking around for a solution to fit their cargo needs. They need a large aircraft, a super massive plane for freight operations. But instead of choosing, for example, the 747-8F, the mainstay freight transport of huge carriers like Atlas Cargo, they're looking for something that has twin engine economics. Now, for a while, you could get the Boeing 777 as a cargo plane, based off the Boeing 777-200, but they want something that's bigger than that, but actually smaller and has two engines than the 747. Boeing has said that it may potentially offer the Boeing 777X, the latest version of the Boeing 777, and Boeing's latest plane as a cargo version, but they haven't exactly yet brought it to market. So now is Airbus's time to shine. If Airbus was able to move into the marketplace with their version of a large cargo plane, say for example, the Airbus A350, they would be able to scoop up all of the market for the Boeing 777X. We know airlines like Qatar are looking to buy a new cargo plane around about sometime closer to the end of this year, and they want to get one of the largest planes. But they want Boeing to give them the 777X, but they haven't yet given it to them. They haven't brought it to the market. So if Airbus were to turn to Qatar and all of its many other airline customers and say, hey, we've now got the Airbus A350 as a cargo plane. That's gonna be snapped up right away. And I definitely think that's gonna happen later in the year. I think Airbus's next plane after the Airbus A321 XLR is going to be the Airbus A350 cargo version. And I mean, why not? They don't have a big cargo plane. They did originally consider to bring the Airbus A380 freight to the market, due to delays with this uh, aircraft, it never got picked up by its customers, DHL and FedEx. They wanted to have, they wanted to use this plane as their main cargo aircraft, but the Airbus A380 has proved to be not so effective. We've seen other airlines turn to the Airbus A380 into a cargo plane like Highfly, but in the end, the economics of such a large plane don't make sense. Quick side note, this is because the Airbus A380 is heavy, thanks to all of its uh, twin decks and being a larger fuselage, that it doesn't have a very low empty weight. This means that you're going to run out of weight allowance before you run out of space on board. So that's why the Airbus A380 never turned out to be the cargo plane of the future and why the 747 is still superior in that regard. But you know, there is another plane that airlines could use instead and have been turning into cargo aircraft is the Airbus A350. We've seen many different carriers like Ethiopia turn its Airbus full functional cargo aircraft, even going as far as to remove the seats. Airbus themselves have released official instructions to do this. And they've said that within two days, you can take a full passenger configured Airbus A350 and turn it into an empty cargo version. So why not just cut out the middleman and just make this available for sale for all of these airlines indeed. And they want it because now as passenger travel is getting higher and higher, back on July 23rd, there were 228,000 flights, the second highest flights ever, second only to 2019. So passenger numbers have now increased back up, the cargo demand is still very strong. So we're going to see many more of these airlines turn to companies like Airbus and Boeing to provide them this cargo capacity. And for me, it's, it's plain and simple that Airbus is sitting on a absolute steal and it's incredible that they haven't yet done it. But perhaps the real question is, why do it now? Why 
not wait for Boeing to bring the 777X cargo version to the market and then just undercut them on price and say, hey, we'll have this to you next month because our aircraft is already flying and has already got a full production system to build it rapidly. If they just wait for Boeing to put their cards on the table, then Airbus can swoop in, pun not intended, and pick up all of the sales. And plus, it also means that they can compete on price because it'll be a lot cheaper than the 777X and also win all of those customers. So that's my 4D chess move thinking of what I think Airbus is going to do next. So another little quick thing that I'll mention is that the reason we haven't seen a new twin jet cargo aircraft for the longest time is that there is a massive oversupply of twin jet planes like older 777s older Airbus A380s that are now being replaced by the Neo. Because there are so many of these fuselages just sitting around the world, being sold all the time, many of these cargo companies can just buy them instead. If they really want a 777-300ER as a cargo plane, they can just buy a 777-300ER. Emirates has got hundreds of them. They can literally just wait for Emirates to start replacing their planes and pick them up for a steal. It's a lot cheaper than buying a new cargo plane. And you're probably thinking, don't these cargo companies want to save on money? Well, actually, they don't really care about saving on money. You see, for them, cargo doesn't care what time the flight leaves. Cargo doesn't care really so much about the cost. Cargo doesn't need entertainment, food, water, or even temperature on board. So if cargo doesn't care about all the things that passengers care about, then cargo companies are able to factor that into the cost of their aircraft, into their operations. Thus, any plane that they acquire, they're not so concerned about having that smidgen difference between, say, a Airbus A330 and a Boeing 787 Dreamliner in terms of fuel efficiency. So for cargo operators, it's very rare that they start to look towards a new cargo plane. However, that being said, there is still very much a market there as we've seen with the Boeing 747-8F. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments if you think that uh, Airbus is just biding their time and that they are gonna bring an A350 cargo version or do you think that perhaps that the market's not yet right and this market is definitely going to be Boeing's for a while longer? And if you want to add me on social media, I'm going to chuck some social medias up here on the screen. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is part of my daily August video collection, even though this video is probably going up before August begins. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then go check out the channel update video elsewhere right here on the channel. So guys, thank you again so much for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow.